Good morning, class four. Today we have the topic building numbers. Okay, same whole chapter numeration, and the topic is building numbers. And what you have done, this is not a new topic. You have done this. You have to make the digits will be given. Digits. Don't forget digits. I didn't say number. Digits means there will be commas after each digit. Okay. After each digit, there will be comma. Okay, like this. It means five chalks. Last time I said one chalk, seven chalks, two chalks, six chalks. It will be individual number. Okay, so these are digits. Now these digits you have to uh, arrange in such a way so that it will be, become biggest, greatest number. Or smallest number. Okay, so how to make it? It is easy only. What you have to do? If it is greatest number, you have to arrange in descending order, bigger to smaller. Okay, like here, which one is biggest? Seven is biggest. So second, six, then five, then two, then one. But you can see the difference. There is no comma at all. If you put comma like this again. I repeat, if you put comma like this again, it will become a digit, not a number, five-digit number. Okay, here the question is, make five-digit number. It is five-digit, one, two, three, four, five. But if you put comma like this, it will become just digit. Remember this, okay? So don't put comma, but... You are confused. If I, that's why I have not put comma any comma out here. But you have to put comma. But according to Indian place value system, last time we did one states hundred comma then thousand ten thousand. So it will be seventy six thousand five hundred twenty one chalks. Okay, it's not seven chalks. It's not six. Okay, uh, we'll talk about so many chalks. No? Uh, we'll talk about any other books, okay? Seven books, five books, one book, seven books, two books, six books, individual number, okay? Here it is not seven books, not six books, but it is all together. It is seventy six thousand five hundred twenty one books, okay? Seventy six thousand five hundred twenty one books. This is the biggest number you can make with these. Digits. Okay. Now smallest. Smallest is just opposite, isn't it? Smallest is just opposite. Opposite. That means it was in descending order. Now it will be in ascending order. Okay. One smallest. Start from start from smallest. One then next higher level. One two three. Uh, one two five six seven. So it will be one six hundred comma thousand ten thousand. It will pick up twelve thousand five hundred sixty seven smallest. So you know the method. If you have to make greatest biggest number, you will write in descending order. If you are making smallest, then it will be in ascending order, smallest to biggest. Okay. Now I have taken another example. I have. For another example, these numbers I have taken. So eight nine zero four two. See, commas after each digit, comma. So eight means just eight sweets, eight chocks, eight books, anything, eight dasta. Okay, so individual number. But you have to keep it. Uh, you have to arrange it in such a way it will become greatest number. So same thing. The, uh, what descending order bigger to smaller if it is greatest? So bigger to smaller nine eight four two zero. Okay, so it became one six hundred comma comma thousand ten thousand ninety eight thousand four hundred twenty books sweets. Okay, anything. So it has become a five digit number. Now let's come to smallest number. Smallest number. I have told you in the beginning what you have to do: ascending order, smallest to biggest, and it will be zero, two, four, eight, nine. Ascending order. According to this, we 
You have to write it like this, isn't it? But what is the question here? Five digit number. If you put zero here, will it become a five digit number? No. Why? When we like here, 76,521, 12,567 it became. But will it become that? Here it will be 1,600 comma. Then 0, 2 means just 2, 2,489. So 2,489. You will write like this, isn't it 2,489? So it became how many digits? 4 digits only. So is it correct? No. Why I wrote this? Because most of the children from class 1 onwards, they are writing it like this. This is wrong. This is wrong. Remember this. That's why I chose these numbers, especially to tell you the method you are using that is wrong. Why? Because the question is about five digits. And here, by putting zero in front, you are making the number only of four digits. It is not counted. Zero two means two only, two thousand. Okay? So it will become four digit. So it is totally wrong. Remember this. Then what to do? What to do? What to do? How to use zero? Always remember zero should be in second place. First, uh, just uh, greater than zero. You have to put it here. Right after zero, which one is greater? Two, not four, not nine, not eight. Right after zero is two. So here you can write two. Okay. Here you can write two. Then only zero in second place. Okay. If you have another zero, that also you can write it here. Then only the other number starts. Remember that. So 2, then 0, then which one is for here? Yeah, 4, then 8, then 9. 1 takes 100. Now it has a meaning, it has a value. Isn't it? 20,489, which is the smallest number you can make out of this digits. And digits, you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now it became five digits. Now zero has a value when it is in between the numbers. If it is written first, then it doesn't have the value. Okay? Remember this. That's why I got wrong answer here. That's why you have to see the video completely. Completely. Fully. Okay? Because some students are not watching video completely. They are just starting portion and middle one. They will see and will close it. Then when I give homework, all are wrong answers. Okay. So please see it completely, fully, full video you have to watch. Then only you get to the homework. And about homeworks, I have to tell you one thing. Please when you send the homeworks, write your name in each page. In each page, you write your name. Okay? And, okay, uh, I forgot what I had to tell you. I'll tell you afterwards. Okay? Thank you.